Hey everybody and welcome back to Chet's Rental YouTube channel. Today we're going to be uh, showcasing a, a wonderful product that we have. If you're a landscaper, a lawn maintenance crew, or if you're a residential homeowner with a half acre or more, this really is a very effective cost affordable ride-on aerator made by Toro. Um, I'll, I'll kind of go over a few things on the dashboard here. Um, the unit is very easy to use and and if you can see down here by my feet it's got a very comfortable anti-vibration platform um, the button over here on my right foot we'll go over in a minute but that's actually what you depress to lower and raise up your aerating tines um, and by the way those actually give you a nice five inch uh, plug um, the unit is, is extremely simple. It's, it's equivalent to a, uh, a zero turn lawnmower and operates the exact same way. So the basic functions are we've got a, a parking brake here and the unit will only start when the parking brake is on. So the parking brake is on and uh, we've got the ignition, we've got a choke, and then we've got throttle. Uh, the controls are literally a forward backwards and a side to side just like a zero turn lawnmower now this gets a little bit complicating this is a PSI gauge right here and the PSI gauge is going to indicate how many pounds per square inch the tines are literally going into the ground now I had to take this home the other day and play with it just so I could communicate intelligently with you guys um, this time of year in spring in Michigan the ground is extremely soft and uh, and vulnerable to damage uh, when you're aerating. So a, a few things to take into consideration. <clears throat> One is that when you're aerating, always go with linear swaths. And this unit will give you a 30 inch swath. So as long as you've got your PSI set properly and you're going straight forward and releasing the button and raising your tines, making your turn, depressing your tines and coming back, your lawn will turn out great. Now, the tricky part is, is getting this adjusted properly. What I personally did was, is I adjusted it at 200 PSI, and I tried making a few swaths. I was getting probably about a two and a half, three inch core, so then I adjusted it to 225. I ended up on my lawn at about 250 pounds per square inch. So it's always better to regulate down and then work your way back up versus the other way. And, take a chance on really goofing up your lawn or the equipment for that matter. So to make your adjustment on the PSI, it's, it's very easy and, and clearly illustrated here. Uh, you've got a, a little bit of a dial here and it'll show you plus you know, uh, clockwise for more PSI or counterclockwise to the minus for lesser PSI. And what you'll be able to do is once you depress your button, the, uh, the PSI will raise as the tines go down into the ground and you can adjust it while the tines are down into the ground or not. So to wrap up the Toro ride-on aerator, we'll kind of go through a, a quick startup procedure with you. Um, once again, you've got your parking brake that's on and then you've got your ignition. Now we're on an inside environment right now so I probably don't have to choke it but I, I will give it a little bit of fuel. want to run this wide open, but we're going to keep the RPMs down right now while we're inside. So remember, it's forward, backward, side to side. We're taking out the parking brake, going forward or backward or side to side. Now remember, if I want to drop my tines, there's a gray button down here that's electric, and all I'm going to do is that I'm going to depress it and instantly my tines are going to drop down and then I can go forward. Don't forget, when you get to the end of your run, release your foot, the tines will raise and then you can make your turn and come back. You don't want to make the mistake of making a turn with the tines in the ground because your customers or your wife won't be very happy. Now remember, if we rent it at Chet's, we sell it and please, by all means, give us a call if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to help. Our call number is 586-264-2420 and we truly appreciate your business.